What could be the most colorful cake in the world? Rainbow cake, right? I'm guessing. I'm putting this one off for quite a while now because of how intimidating it looks. It's like six different layers of cake, icing that's sculpted flawlessly around the outside, and you're gonna need some food coloring. Like, like all of it. But I'm not putting this off any longer. Today is the day that I finally make this rainbow cake over here. Let's do it. Okay, so I'm gonna follow along to the video by Cupcake Gemma, who, if you don't know who she is, she's on YouTube making cakes and desserts. I'll link the video down below. Uh, but I haven't done anything yet. I've just been talking. So I gotta make a cake. I need ingredients. All-purpose flour, 750 grams. Sugar, 750 grams. Softened butter, 750 grams. Nine eggs, one and a half teaspoons of vanilla. Nine tablespoons of whole milk. Food coloring gel, not the liquid. The liquid sucks. This is six different colors. All the colors of the rainbow. Purple, yellow, orange, red, pink. Not using pink, that was for something else. Green, blue. So what needs to happen here is I need to make six cakes. Six. So I need six bowls, six cake tins. It's quite literally double the amount that I have. So I'm just gonna split it in half. I'm gonna do three cakes first and then I'm gonna move on to my other three. Cool? Oh, it's a pot. I'm gonna whisk in the vanilla into the milk, divide the milk evenly into these three bowls. Now you're gonna add three different colors. Start with some red. Blue can go in here. Purple can go into my pot. Mix these into the milk. Food coloring already all over my hands and I just got started. Do I have it on my teeth? Now, in an actual bowl, I'm gonna add my softened butter and my sugar. You're gonna mix this for six to seven minutes until it's pale and fluffy. Nine eggs divided by two is 4.5. These eggs into the sugar butter mixture, but very slowly, a little bit at a time, while the mixer's running, of course. Silky smooth. Quickly sift the flour. With your mixer on a low setting, I'm going to slowly add my flour. Obviously there's a fan in the front of this mixer. So I would be a bit of a dum-dum if I was gonna add the flour in front of that. Now you wanna keep this batter nice and airy, so you don't wanna over mix it. Just, just until it's, it's in there, it's incorporated, and then you move on. I don't wanna do this next part. The next part involves math. With a digital scale and a random container you found because you have no more bowls, I'm gonna put the batter in here. This weighs roughly 1,300 grams, which now I need to divide that in three. About 446.3333. Now I have all my batter divvied out into three. I'm gonna get three of the bowls from earlier with the food coloring and put these in. And you wanna be gentle when you're folding these in. You don't wanna lose the air bubbles. So you need a bunch of cake tins. I went out and picked up two extra ones. I already had one here. What I need to do is butter these up. Butter sitting right beside me on the counter. Greased up, ready to rock and roll. I'm gonna add my colored batter into each one of these. Flatten out the top. After each use, clean your spatula. Heaven forbid you got some of the red into the blue. I'd never forgive myself. Okay, now I'm gonna put these cakes into the oven for 20 minutes. Unfortunately, I only have room for two, so one has to stay behind. Got myself a toothpick. I'm gonna stick the toothpick into the cake and it should come out clean. It does come out clean. And no, I didn't forget about you. Come along. <sighs> Have the cakes cool on some parchment paper. Empty your cake tins. We gotta clean those. So everything that we did for those first three cakes, we just gotta repeat that. Same cake, different color.
Vanilla. I'm totally just fake adding that. I've already done it. Last and least yellow. So now we're on the buttercream icing. And for that, we will be using a shit ton of icing sugar, 900 grams to be exact, 400 grams of softened butter, five to six tablespoons of whole milk, and just an incy bincy half teaspoon of vanilla. So firstly, I'm gonna add my butter and I'm gonna beat it with my hand mixer for five minutes, super duper fast. add my icing sugar in batches. I'm gonna mix the first half for like two minutes and then I'm gonna add the rest of the sugar. Come on. Oh, you're heating up, aren't you? You're okay. You're okay. Just gonna add half a teaspoon of vanilla into my whole milk. So I'm gonna add the milk on a very low speed, drizzle it all in. Once it's all in, I'm gonna turn it up high. Oh, I got my six layers of cake here. Boom, 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 boom. So what I'm gonna do next is actually go my separate way from Gemma. She does this additional step where she cuts through the top of the cake so that they're all flat. I'm not gonna do that, I don't trust myself, and they're all flat. Take a cake ring, put it on the cake, and you're gonna punch out the center so that you can remove all these ugly edges that don't really, well, they don't make the cut. So like, I'm not pleased with this. This is a hell of a lot of scraps. Um, I think I cut off way too much. Uh, I'd never like to see something like this. I feel bad about this. I'm gonna try my best to avoid throwing this out, but I'm going to worry about this later. So I have one of these, um, I don't know what it's called, something for a cake. It's called a cake drum. And I'm gonna put that on top of my plate, like so. What I'm gonna do first is put a little bit of that buttercream icing on this cake drum thingy, like so, so that the cake holds in place. You know when you're icing a cake and you can like, you're, you're kind of like sculpting it and you're turning it around on this turning thing? It's a turntable. Um, I don't have that. Why would I have one of those? So I gotta make my own and I'm confident I can do so. So this thing that came in a springform pan and a jar, and I'm just gonna do that. See? Whoa, yes. Firstly, I'm gonna add the purple layer of cake on the bottom. You take some buttercream icing and plop it on top. Blue layer on top of that. Green. So what I'm doing is I'm just adding a layer of cake, some icing, cake, icing, so on, so forth. The question is, what color comes next? Yellow. I've played this game before, and if there's any signs of that icing melting, this is going in the fridge. And there it is. Just for like 10 minutes. So what I'm gonna do next, and what I find really clever actually, is covering the entire cake with buttercream. Just a really thin layer. It's gonna lock in the crumbs. I have no idea how you can lock in those crumbs without them getting everywhere. As of right now, this looks kinda of like Fruity Pebbles. So it is absolutely imperative that I get this into the fridge ASAP. It looks like it's about to top over. Kinda of like a Leaning Tower of Pisa sort of thing and it goes to the fridge for like 40 minutes. The cake is solid, 
solid structure. It's not going anywhere. It's chilled. But we're now on the part where I just, I know I suck at it. I stink. I don't know how to very gently and beautifully sculpt the icing onto a cake and make it look pristine. Now I'm gonna put this buttercream all over the cake. I'm not gonna go for beauty just yet. Just gonna get everything covered. I use a scraper. This one was for bread. I'm gonna try my hardest to make this look pretty. <laughs> I can't really talk when I'm doing this. It's just all focus, baby. All focus. It's getting it on these top corners that's the toughest. As soon as I cover one area, I see somewhere else that needs attention. I try to tend to that, then I mess something up. I think I've made it worse because I keep touching it, so I've made it worse now. You gotta know when to say when because I had it perfect, I had it good enough, and I've gone ahead and messed things up now. Just leave it, Jamie, just leave it. It's fine, it's fine. You're gonna mess it up. Just leave it. But what about this area? I know, I know, just get that and then go. I have some of my leftover crumbs and I'm just sprinkling them on the top of this cake just to bring a little color to it. You know what I mean? I'm just gonna put this in the fridge. Rainbow cake, cross it off the list, it's done. Uh, I'm thrilled about it. I hope the colors, I hope the colors really turn out in the video because they are popping in real life. Uh, it's quite tasty too. Perfect for like a birthday or like some gathering or something. Not, not here by yourself alone in the kitchen. Now a huge shout out to Cupcake Gemma on YouTube, linked in the description. That rainbow cake video is super helpful. I wouldn't even been able to start this thing if I didn't watch that. But I followed it almost exactly and my finished product looks pretty similar to hers except more amateur hour. Now this thing is a friggin' tank. I need to find people to eat this. Okay guys, that's all I got today. Hope you enjoyed the show. If you did, you're not already a subscriber, you should definitely subscribe. Why the hell not, right? If you're already a subscriber, it does not apply to you, don't worry about it, you're awesome. Uh, that's it, see you soon.